Hello, my fellow guardians! This is Malucha, and welcome back to Destiny 2 here in Season of the Deep. We've got a planet that returned, we've got a fellow guardian who turns, well, halfway turns, fallen apparently, or is resisting the fallenness, I, I think you can call it. Apparently, there's a new six man activity, we can go dive underwater, but we can't swim, sadly, it looks like it. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we need to look at, but we've got some, uh, well, minor content, maybe minor, well, it's not minor content, it's content that we want to look at first before we dive deeper into the story, guys. We've got a reset on our season pass, of course, with uh, a new auto rifle, apparently, in it. So for today's episode, I'm quickly going to check out, uh, for the hunter perspective, at least, what is in here for the cosmetics and what rewards we can get for this season of the deep, right? So season 90 days for this season before the season ends, guys. So try to pick everything that you can. And we got, like I said, a centrifuge. So if we take a look at it, uh, we've got slightly increased range and stability, slightly increases handling speed. Uh, magazine is built for higher capacity. So ma bigger magazines. Sprinting gradually reloads this weapon. That is actually pretty cool. So while you sprint, you're actually re reloading. That is pretty cool. This weapon is optimized for recoil control, increased stability, and enemies defeated. Kill tracker. I don't think I actually have enemies defeated with this weapon yet. We do have a catalyst. We got overcharged capacitor, sprinting, sliding, and firing this weapon. Builds up temporary electrostatic charge, increasing range and reload speed. Final blows with high charges causes explosions, and maximum charge explosions blinds targets. High charge causes explosions. But we need to charge it up, so if it's enemies that we one shot, we basically can charge it. A maximum charge explosion blinds targets, so it's basically a weapon built for higher HP uh, targets instead of like one shot targets, I feel. So definitely interesting, definitely want to take a look at it, we'll uh, check it out after the video of course. Uh, we've got the usuals in here, we've got Deep Engram, an Engram containing Season of the Deep gear. Some bonuses, some upgrades. Uh, we got a shader. So definitely looking. Ooh. That is actually a really nice blue with silver. Yeah, I kind of like it. The helmet turns a little purple, it seems. But overall, really nice shader. Like, holy crap, really nice. We got a finisher, the white whale. Where we fire off a rocket into the face. Okay, pretty cool. Salvage key, seasonal currency. So the seasonal cursor is salvage keys, automatically redeemed when opening a salvage chest, improving the reward. So it's basically the same as the previous season at the end of the activity. It is a six man activity this season. You can actually find a chest, a uh, salvage chest can be found at the end of the salvage activities. And once you open the chest, you get better rewards out of them. Deep engrams again. We got methane burst transmats. Nah, not a fan of transmats. The targeted reduction hand cannon. Okay. So, full bore with alloy, outlaw, prison kill greatly decreases reload time. Harmony, final blows uh, improves this weapon's damage and performance. And unsated hunger increases handling, reload speed, stability when no abilities are fully charged. Short gains increased guard resistance and charge rate instead. Uh, we got a reload speed, empty mod socket, and empty deep side socket. This weapon possesses a res. Oh, so it's a craftable weapon. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's move on. We got catalyst quest. So they basically, you wanna make sure that you have both of these qu catalyst quest uh, boost before you actually go for the catalyst. Else, it just takes way too long. Deep side dive key automatically redeemed when opening a deep chest, improving the rewards. Up to two deep chests can be found at the end of deep dives. So deep dives is another activity, it seems. Exotic Engram. Uh, we got a vehicle. Okay, nice. Pale Reflection. Okay. Nah, I'm not gonna say it. I'm a big fan, but it's... It's not ugly. I, <laughs> that's also something we can see. Thin per, uh, Precipice Sword. Okay. Oh, it's a katana looking sword. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Owned edge, enduring guards, valiant charge, receiving damage while guarding temporal increases sword lunge distance. 
Precision final blows of rapidly defeating targets with non-precision weapons spawn a threadling, so a strand weapon. And then unsated hunger increases handling reload speed and stability when no abilities are fully charged. Apparently I defeated enemies with it. And we got impact mod. And it is a craftable, so again, craftable sword, guys. Really, really nice. Looks really, really cool. Uh, centrifuge for the people that don't actually buy the uh, paid version, of course. So it's it's in there, but you're going to have to play for it a little bit. Got another shader. And that's a little flashy for me. Love the blue, though. Like the light blue with the dark blue. That is kind of that is kind of cool. Blue and green. I can't say I'm a fan of the combination, though. But the blue looks cool. Like the dark blue with the light blue. Really looks cool. We got pressure monitor, ghost protection. Yeah, no. I never use those. Deep side harmonizer material. Strange device that can cr grant deep side activation to shapeable weapons. Cannot be used on weapons with deep side resonance already available or completed. Raid weapons require spells of conquest for activation. We're gonna have to see what this actually does when we pick it up. Because kind of doesn't... Strange device grants deep side activation to shapeable weapons. So this can be used on any weapon that you d didn't obtain yet, I think. Something like that. Deep Seeker Shell. Oh, that is a beautiful one. That is a beautiful one. That looks pretty cool. Okay, nice. Uh, some Engrams, of course. Another Deep Side Harmonizer over here. Salvage Key. And here we go. Gauntlets. It seems like we got a depth meter on top of our gauntlets. They're not too bulky. Except for the wrist is kind of bulky with the watch. If the watch was a little smaller, I would have found it more interesting. Personally. These are spandex pants. <laughs> I know I'm not a fan of them. The pointy tip shoes. Well, it kind of resembles a diving suit, right? Like, diving suits are really close to your body to preserve your heat more. It kind of makes sense that they kind of look like that. Uh, another deep side harmonizer. Yes, here we go. The ornaments. Ooh, okay. It's actually looking not too bad, I do have to say. Not too bulky and the spikes are not too big. Like, if the spikes would, like, be any bigger, I would definitely instantly say, yeah, no thank you. But overall, not bad. Look pretty good. Um, MPA wear walker cloak. Okay, so a cloak. Yeah, no way. No way. The cloak does come with a helmet piece, apparently. But, yeah, still no way. No way. I, I don't, I really don't like that. That looks ugly. Uh, we got boots, ornaments. Yeah, they're going into, like, the fish mode a little bit. The blue with the light blue and then white here and silver. Actually, it looks pretty good. Kind of wonder how it how it's going to look with other colors. The uh, Werewalker vest, chest armor. Okay. That looks pretty cool. I, I kind of feel that I can't scroll out and just look at, like, the belt and such. is all part of the vest, but you can't really see it. We got Siren Call on the emotes. Oh, a shell. Yeah, you listen to the you listen to the ocean in the shell. Yeah, true. My shell phone plan is almost out of minutes. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Uh, oh, here we go. The uh, universal ornament. Oh, that's... That's freaking bulky. It's nice though, but if it was more slender, I love that there's like waves in it. That is pretty cool. But if it was more slender, maybe I would have been more of a fan. This and I'm a little longer and more slender. But overall, it's it's actually not bad looking. I do have to say, I'm gonna have to take a look at what like the entire the entire set gonna is gonna look like. The helmets, no, that's ugly. And we apparently got some liquids flowing in where oxygen should be flowing in. Doesn't make sense. 
Uh, we got some uh, Ascended Alloys, Exotic Gangrams, Ascended Shards, of course. All pretty logical. The Hunter Universal Ornament for the Fists. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Chest is a little bulky at the front. We got some cords running around. I love the lining here. Actually looks pretty cool. Looks decent. Again, wondering how it will look in my red-green shader that I use. Like, my entire look has always been, like, red and green. Uh, and here we got the Hunter Helmet, the Universal Ornament. Nothing really too special about it, I do have to say. Like, for a diving helmet, it, it, I presume it's gonna be supposed to be looking like a diving helmet. Because I can't really see it with my cloak, though. What the... And I can't take off my cloak either. Uh, we've got Tentacle Trap emotes. Oh, that is that is pretty that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Like three tentacles. Okay, and then we've got the fluorescent depth weapon ornaments for the centrifuge. Eh. Can't say I'm really a fan. Maybe with a di different color setup, guys. It might look good. Yeah, there we go. Season of the Deep. All the rewards. Basically for a kind of a look into what the Hunter might get. Uh, I, do, I do have a, a Warlock, but I'm not really that interested in actually looking at it. So I'm going to basically take a look at Centrifuge and what it actually does, guys. So I'm going to go to where we always go. And that is to the EDZ. One thing I also noticed is we got a new location on the map. But it's not on the map. Oh, here you can see, like, it, it's really, like, worn out. It's like a weapon that was lying at the bottom of the sea, rusted and such. So if we walk, nothing happens. But once we start sprinting, you can see the bar on the left. The overcharged capacitor actually is filling up. And then the weapon itself is starting to glow, right? And once you stand still... It basically goes a little bit away. You can see the meter on top on the right. It actually fills up as well. So if we stand still. You see the little bar moving back to the left. Now if we shoot enemies or stuff. The 3k. Not bad. 4k there. The 4k for crit. And then one. Let's uh, quickly check a little closer. The 2.5 bodies. 2.5 body. And 3.3. And if we go closer. Let's go closer. And actually hit something properly. Come on. Stop moving so I can actually look at it. Are you really... To 4, 4k. Our regular red mobs, okay? So we got 1.3 that we're looking at. 1.366. 1.366. And let's kill this one. Overcharge capacitor is going up. But once it's full, it actually brings out explosions, right? That was how it worked. Let's, let's take a look at the explosion. Oh. oh, okay, so it resets if you need to reload. Okay, so let's sprint a little. And let's get that explosion happening, seeing... Okay, so 8k I saw there. There were a bunch of damage numbers, but I couldn't see everything. So 8k again. Okay, let's sprint a little. Let's charge it up. I'm trying to see all the numbers, but there's so many numbers that I can't really... The 12k there on the AoE first. And it does 3k on the boss. Okay, kind of sad that it needs to recharge constantly. Sprints. Try that again, once it's full. 
Bossy, where did you go? Uh, was that a hundred and thirty-eight thousands on the blasts? No, that would have instantly shot it. it it's probably 13k. So 13k on the AoE damage, guys, on the explosion. That's actually not too bad. It is an auto rifle in your energy weapon. So it's not in your first slot. Yeah, overall pretty interesting. So if I need to use shotguns or something and I need an auto rifle for... Well, I basically have <laughs> emmets that I've been using endlessly, as you can see, level 232. Uh, they're really, really nice, guys. Like, really, really nice. It has a really nice uh, crosshair as well. Like, pretty straightforward. Like, it, it shows off pretty well as well. And there we go. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit my ass down here, guys, and end this episode up here. Like I said, there's a bunch of little things that I want to record first before I actually go further into the campaign. So, like I said, I'm going to end it up here. If you want to see more of my quest progression, my let's play, or basically any information or stuff I'm going to look at at Destiny 2 here in Season of the Deep or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.